And what does it mean to read in the present? To know that you exist here and now, even as you delve into the lives of people contained in the text. What does it mean to be in the present, at the same time your mind constructs a world that is not your own? Reading under a time limit causes stress and concern that the task will not be completed on time. This is not necessarily reading in the present. The penalty for failure is purely arbitrary and self-enforced. You can ignore the stopwatch and focus purely on the task, losing yourself in the experience of reading and reading in the present. Author Marx and Daniel Luskin has essentially described it. Fire. Towards the end of his postmodern novel, House of Leaves, the main character reads by lighting the pages of his book on fire, one by one. After he reads each page, he must destroy it in order to maintain his light, and thus his ability to read the next page. His mind remains anchored in the present, as he cannot ignore the fire like he could a stopwatch. Nevertheless, his mind is also with the text. What does it mean to read in the present? Let's find out. So it turns out that filming during heavy winds makes it impossible to actually record useful audio for my monologues. So I have about 15 minutes of footage that I just can't use. I'm going to talk about uh, what I learned from this experiment uh, and sort of what happened. sometimes out of the pot that I was using to hold them. Uh, it often blew them out, uh, especially with the uh, covers. Uh, in that respect, uh, Navidson had it easy. Uh, he only had to fear for his life and his sanity. Uh, I had problems reading. Uh, and that's actually the key issue that I ran across. As a good friend of mine, Lisa, had thought, there were issues with engagement in the text, but not quite in the way uh, that I had anticipated. You see, from reading by uh, burning the book and being forced to have the reading process complicated by maintaining the fire, uh, I was actually very interested in finding out what happened next, uh, such to the point that my reading process began feeling a lot like speed reading. I had severe issues remembering details of characterization, of setting, uh, uh, I, I couldn't even remember uh, any of the character's name uh, except for um, the gentleman who was apparently the protagonist up until this point. Uh, even though I couldn't remember character names or even uh, many details of the language and things being used, I did recognize that there were characters using puns and uh, being clever about their word usage. I didn't remember a great deal of the plot details, even though I didn't remember who was doing what. I didn't really care. Uh, I was actually reading for the sake of reading, but in a different way than you might think of. I wasn't reading for the sake of the pleasure of reading. I was reading because I was in fear of losing the ability to read. With the fire jeopardy of both uh, blowing out as well as running out of fuel, I had to read because if I did not read, I would lose the ability to do so, which is actually a wonderful metaphor for illiteracy and people who simply don't read. Uh, people who are capable of doing so in today's society, and they simply give up.
they don't read books, magazines, uh, newspapers, articles online. They simply don't do it. Is that an underlying motivation of why we read? Because we know that if we don't read, we're no better off than if we had never learned to read at all. It's a question I don't really have enough research to answer. However, I have done enough research to realize that that question is now important. So what does it mean to read in the present? It means to read in fear. It means to read for the sake of the plot. For the sake of finding out what happens next. And it's exciting. There's no doubt about that. I had smoke in my eyes. I had flames at my fingertips. And that is an experience that most people will not have. It was a way of reading that I have never experienced before. Uh, I might do it again under less windy conditions. And... All right, so.